excited about an upcoming Thanksgiving holiday gathering? And do you have a significant other who's an introvert who's not looking forward to this upcoming holiday gathering? Well, don't take it personal. It's not about you. It's not even about your extended family and friends. For introverts, these social gatherings mean dictated extended period of time of socialization, which can be very stressful. But you can help decrease that stress by incorporating these five strategies to help them to really enjoy the socialization because they will actually get breaks. So number one, make sure that when you are visiting someone that you cut the visit short. If someone is local, it's of course it's rude to eat and run, but after you've eaten and you've visited for a while, remember it is okay to be the first to leave. In fact, if you can develop some kind of sign or signal with your introverted significant other, they can let you know when they're ready to leave. Or if you're going to spend the night with someone, make sure and determine ahead of time how many nights you're going to stay. And don't let there be any surprises with your introverted significant other. And if they really do want to cut the visit short, be willing to compromise. What if the visit is at your home? If it's at your home, then make sure and, and note for the guests the start time and the end time. Usually when people see an end time, they're likely to respect that and leave accordingly. Secondly, if you are traveling, make sure and stay at an Airbnb or a hotel. Sometimes for an introvert, staying at someone's home just denotes this, this extended periods of com conversation of every waking hour, and that can be so mentally draining, just even the thought of it. So if they can visit with the person, but then stay at a hotel or an Airbnb and get that break, that may be all the difference that they need to really set them at ease. And thirdly, speaking of breaks, when you are at the event, be able to take a break from the crowd. Say that you're going to go for a walk around the block, tell the host that you need some exercise, or make up a fictitious errand that you or your significant other and yourself needs to run to get out of the house. Anything to give you and your significant other just a break from the crowd so that they can replenish, so that they can get their energy back. Now remember, make sure and don't invite the other guests to this break because this is all about a private short escape for either just your introverted significant other or just the two of you. Fourth, you can help with the small talk. Introverts detest small talk. So if you can start with the small talk and really get the, get the crowd going as far as then getting to a deeper level of conversation, you'll find that your introverted significant other will then probably want to join in and participate in a deeper level of conversation. And lastly, suggest that your introverted significant other actually help the host. I know of one male introvert that after dinner he gets up and he immediately starts doing the dishes and everybody tends to compliment him thinking oh he's really helping out when really he's just trying to get out of conversation. So tell your introverted significant other to actually not only offer to help but ask for permission. So many times a, a host will say oh that's okay I don't need any help. But when you ask for permission, would you like for me to, can I help set the table or can I help chop the onions or make the salad? They're more likely to grant you permission. So while you're off visiting with family and friends, they can be busy doing a task alone and not having this feeling of having to be on and converse. So if you have an introverted significant other that's feeling a little bit 
anxious or some even sometimes irritable about your upcoming holiday gathering, just know that when you incorporate these five strategies, you're gonna show that you're better trying to understand them, meet their needs, and you're going to have a much better sociable time. They're gonna get the breaks they need and you're going to get the socialization that you want.